Hey guys, uh, your campus ministers here. Uh, we just wanted to give you a quick video, uh, just a word of encouragement, um, and then just let you know how things are going for us. Yeah, hey, well, first first of all, we wanted to say shout out happy birthdays. We have Ephraim Sanchez, whose birthday Woo! was on last Monday. What, what? Yeah, uh, find him on social and uh, hit him up, say happy birthday. Also, Lillian Fasil. Her birthday is a Saturday. Yeah. So happy birthday, Lillian. Happy birthday. Well, we're right outside San Marcos Academy because it's a closed campus and we're not allowed to come on. But we are praying for you guys and we're thinking of you each and every day. And so I can't imagine what quarantine life is like for you. For us, we are too much of an extrovert yeah. to be stuck inside walls. Well, and with your kids. Oh, gosh. Just, just your kids. Yeah. yeah. Every day. All day. And uh, teachers, day. I love you so much. Thank you for educating my children all these years. And uh, I hope I make it these two weeks. But yeah, so, but we want to just give you a little word of encouragement. So we're just going to give you today Romans 5. Romans chapter 5, verse 1 says, Therefore, since we've been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ our Lord has done for us. Because of our faith, Christ has brought us into a place of undeserved privilege where we now stand and we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. We can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials for we know what helps us develop endurance. And endurance develops strength of character and character strengthens our confident hope of salvation. And this hope will not lead to disappointment for we know how dearly God loves us because we have given us, he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with his love. Okay, guys, so looking at Romans chapter 5, we just wanted to share a word of hope. You know, in in the uncertainty that we're living in right now where we don't know um, what next week's going to look like or the next two weeks or we don't even know what the end of the school year is going to look like. Uh, it can it can bring a lot of anxiety um, and un, un, uncertainness about where we're going. Um, but but this passage talks about a hope that doesn't disappoint. As as Monica just read that, uh, this whole idea is this hope is something that that is unshakable. It doesn't. Um, it's not just like disappointment, like oh I messed up and so I'm a disappointment. But like disappoint, like it, it meets our expectations. It fulfills everything that we that we need or want, and that's the kind of hope that we find. And so it says that when we face trials. That we should run to them. That we should be eager to encounter those trials. Um, and right now, this is a trial for us. Mm. For our world. For our for everyone. Um, this is something that we've, we've not faced before. And so, uh, it, it causes us to find our value in a lot of things. It causes us to find um, our security uh, in other places. And so, I would encourage you to, to find your security in God. Because it says that... That as we face trials, um, those trials develop endurance, and endurance develops our strength of character, and character strengthens uh, our confident hope of salvation. And it's that hope that doesn't disappoint us. I, I'd encourage you to spend more time reading your word and praying and and reaching out to your friends, even though we can't be face to face uh, and we we can't have that kind of community. We can still have community uh, through our our different social medias and through our our our, uh, our connections anyway we can still maintain those so reach out to your friends and and see if anybody needs anything um, may, maybe all they need is a word of encouragement maybe they, maybe they just need to know that that there is someone else out there that's that's thinking about them so just don't waste this time whatever you do find a way to make it meaningful um, just one little last word of encouragement in this time of uncertainty um, Isaiah 40 verse um, let's see, verse 28 says, Have you ne never heard? Have you never understood? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all of the earth. He never grows weak or weary, and no one can understand the depth of his understanding. You know, there's a whole lot we don't know right now. and um, But the thing is, is it's not beyond our God. And so he knows exactly um, what hour that this will be over and when classes will resume and when the economy will be back up and running again. And so, but so there's nothing that's beyond 
the knowledge and wisdom of our God. And so lean into that, just as um, Clinton had said. And, um, and we're excited to see what God does during this time. Um, we're going to wait with expectation. Um, God's going to do something to our society and That's to right. our culture and, and to our young people, um, raising up a new generation. And so, so guys, we just pray that you lean into this. And, um, and so may you have some hope um, that God is not, not weary. He's not weak. He is strong. He is um, he's knowledgeable about what's happening, and so he cares. So let's figure out how he wants to use us during this time. Um, so, hey, listen, we all could use a little laughter and a little right. comedy, just a little, I don't know, a little something, something pick me up. So how about you send us. You can send it to our SMA email, okay? We want a meme. We want a COVID quarantine meme, okay? It could be about your internet connection. It could be about, what are some other ideas? Uh, teachers online. Uh, how about your chapel online? Your family. <laughs> What's going on in your family? Yeah, the what, household. What kind of chaos what it looks and like. craziness we, is going on? We want a meme. The best <clears throat> meme we will show next week in our chapel online time. So uh, hit us up. Give us a meme, and we'll maybe even get it on the SMA. We might, uh, uh, what is it called? Hack hack the SMA uh, Facebook page and post your meme on there. So send us your meme. Yep, there you go. And I uh, hope you guys have a good week, and we'll be back next week with another video. Uh, and so we hope you follow along and enjoy these times. Uh, thanks. All right, we love you guys. Praying for y'all.